Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ndaira Sumeda and in this channel we talk about all things personal finance, understanding all the financial investment vehicles that are out there, making sure that we rightfully use them towards our goals and ultimately achieve that financial freedom. Okay, so today I want to debunk the concept of compound interest right so compound interest can really really work for you albert einstein was quoted saying compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world he who understands it um ends from it he who doesn't pays it and what does that mean right if we look into the concept of a house and a home loan right um if you pay it in 20 years you're most likely to pay double the value of, of the house right for an example if you buy a house that is 700,000 and then you pay it um in the period of 20 years um you're most likely going to pay 1,400,000 which is double the price so the extra 700,000 that you pay because the house was 700,000 it is interest rate and the reason why it's so high is because your loan is calculated by the bank compoundly so they compound it daily based on the amount in which you're owing right so they make money from you using compound interest by charging you interest right however the same concept applies to you when you save and invest money right your interest rate is calculated daily possibly compounded monthly based on the amount in which you have saved and the many a times it gets compounded let's say the same it gets compounded over a period of 20 years you're most likely going to make double the amount in which you have saved so who wants to make double the amount of money me 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 of course i do and the tool in which we can use or take advantage of is compound interest right so we are encouraged to start early and i will link starting early with compound interest using the numbers that are found from the book winning the money game right that's how i'll conclude the topic of compound interest right but when you start early even when you invest small amount over a long period you give your money time to be compounded as many times as possible so interest rate that you make gets compounded with your capital and then over and over and over again so the longer you make it stay in an investment the more the money it actually makes for you okay and then the shorter of course your money gets compounded in um a fewer times okay fewer times because you only put it in a in a shorter space of time okay so now let's get to the numbers because i don't want to make this video very long but i want you to understand why you need to start early and how does compound interest work for you or how can it work for you okay so again i mentioned the fact that you need to start young and you need to let your money stay in an investment vehicle whichever you choose for a very long time to allow compound interest and time to work on your behalf so i'm going to use this example that oh jesus i think i closed the page just give me a second okay got it right this is from the book winning the money game and it is on page 84 this is by umlamuli mbambo okay i've reviewed this book in this channel but um i thought to use this concept or this table to illustrate how compound interest actually works okay so we have a young lady whose name is tando right she started investing from the age of 24 to the age of 30. don't worry i'll put the table here um and then she was investing only 250 monthly right from the age of 24 to the age of 30 so the time that she has invested for is six years right and those 250 she has paid them um six years multiplied by 12 because each month she was contributing 250 in total at the age of 65 she only invested for six years and let that money stay in an investment product without touching it right at the age of 65 she had 479,000, right? 
479,000. She only invested for six years. She invested from 24 to 30, and she was uh, investing 20, 250,000. The total amount that she contributed towards that six years period is 18,000, okay? But at the age of 65, she had 479, okay? So we also have um, a friend of ours here as a guy by the name they will hope, right? He was like, okay, I'm too young. I don't want to start investing very early. I'm going to catch up um, later on in life when I understand what, um, what investment is. And when I start thinking about retiring, that's when I will catch up and I'll put more money there, right? So he actually invested from the age of 35 right and he was also depositing 215 monthly and he stopped when he was 60 right he stopped when he was 60 so he invested that 250 for 30 years okay because he started when he was 35 ended when he was 60 similar amount of 250 rand so the total amount that he contributed over that period of 30 years from 35 to 60 is 90,000. If you remember, our friend there, the lady Tato, invested only 18,000 because she invested only for six years. Our brother here, Tebuko, invested for 30 years and the total amount is 90,000. But the amount at the age of 65 that, um, that um, Tebuko got it's 425,000, right? So if you remember, Tato made 479. And this is calculated on a 9% um, annual return, right? For both. They were both getting 9%. They were both investing 250 rand. Tebuho invested for 30 years. And then Tato invested for six years. But Tato started when she was 24, she only did it just for six years. She st stopped when she was uh, 30 and let her money stay in that investment account. However, Tewuho started when he was um, 35, did it for 30 years, did it for 30 freaking years, deposited 90,000, where else Tato deposited only 18,000. However, uh, Tato made more money than Tewuho. Why is that so? It's because Tato led time and compound interest worked on her behalf. The earlier you start, the many times you allow your money and the interest rate that is accumulated through compound interest to, to work for you. So if you start late, your money is only going to get compounded over a shorter space of time and your interest rates will only get compounded over a short space of time, right? Because if you remember, Tato started when she was 24 and stopped when she was um, 30, but kept her money. That means that that money kept on compounding, right? So this is how starting early can help you. There is also another scenario, if I can just quickly find it, which shows that even if you deposit more and you start late, you're most likely not going to catch up with someone who has started early, right? So why is this important? It's important because sometimes we think that, let me withdraw my pension money and then I will deposit more later, right? Because you've withdrawn that money and that money that you've withdrawn will not be compounding anymore. You will just have to start from scratch. Therefore, you are cutting out the compounding cycle. So the person who was contributing less and let their money stayed in an investment vehicle is most likely going to pay to get more even when the total amount they've deposited is less than what you've contributed. I hope you guys understand the concept of compound interest. If you do, please give me a purple heart because this is very, very important. One, in starting early and two, in making sure that your money stays in an investment vehicle for a longer period. Goodbye.